on on inside, so back, neck, seam allowance together. Okay. So they want us to sew the back neck seam allowance together. And I've learned how to do it by machine, so we don't have to do it by hand, okay? So let's bring the machine back in and let me show what we're trying to do. What we're trying to do, see how I can make this and it can be all like this? We need to make that stop forever. So what we're going to do now is get this together, lift up the lining, and place our two seams together. So remember I put this mark for center and that mark is for center. Place them together. Okay, once I place them together, I need to pin them so they can't move. Actually, I need to go this way. All right, so now I'm going to go as far as I can, placing them together. Opening that one up, opening this one up, and lining them up like this. And keeping them all open and flat. <clears throat> and it's seam upon seam, okay? Now, I don't want to go all the way to the end. Because that, that just gets so there's no room for it to move. Or, but see how the two notches line up? So now I'll go this way. Because this could be a jumbled mess up in the middle if we allowed it to go free. And it's the under collar. It's the collar and the under collar being pinned together. Now they wanted you to take a hand stitch and whip stitch it together. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. See, notches line up. And I'll go, that's far enough. I mean, there's the end. I don't want to go that far. All right, so I'm going to turn it to zigzag. I'm just going to probably go from about notch to notch. And I'm just going to zigzag these seam allowances together. Are you sewing on the line? Or? No. If I sew on the line, I'll end up with stitches on the outside. Just sewing the seam allowance together. Oh, this is the seam allowance. Okay. Yes. Making sure everything's flat and nothing's moved. This is sloppy, it's just tacking it down. But if you sew past the seam line, you're going to have stitches on the outside. If you're uncomfortable, do it by hand like the instructions tell you. So see how I gotta pull that out and get it flat? Pull it over. Now watch the difference. This can't come loose. The collar's solid. It can't be dancing around in there. And everything is flat where it belongs. There's no flippies of seam allowance going the wrong way. It's all flat and clean. So when see how now the collar even looks more streamlined mm -hmm. just by sewing that together. Okay. Because I, I had two things that were just sewn together on the edge, so they're bubbly and juicy in the middle. Well, now I've just sewn it down again, so they can't move. I'll pass this around so you can feel the difference. Okay, thank you. Thank you. 